Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can apply the condition when performing the calculations. For example if you see it over here we have like total sales total profit right but what if in this table we just want a particular type of sale for example we have these different segment consumer corporate and home office what if if we just want the corporate sales as a separate column along with the total sales now one way is that if we click on corporate sales over here corporate these values are updated it's no longer total sales it's corporate sales but that's not what we want we want this total sales and a comparison with the the uh, corporate sales so in that scenario what we do is we create uh, the calculated columns or the measure using the tax function calculate where we can specify the measure that we want to calculate along with the condition right and that is something which i will show you how you can do it because you will going to use it n number of times in your reports and dashboard so it's very important and see it till the end so that you know how to properly configure it all right and uh, before i move ahead just a quick information that within description i have three links one is for this data set second is for the uh, all the power bi tutorial which is present within the google spreadsheet there you can search uh, any power bi power bi video which i have published and the link is present along with that and you can directly jump on that and see it and instead of searching it here on my channel which sometimes it's very difficult and then i have the third link which is for the uh, for the videos that is present or all the videos that is on my channel because i have tableau videos click videos python videos and so and so forth so you can quickly search any of those topics and uh, learn it if you want to learn it all right so that's easily i have made it easy for you so that you can access and uh, find whatever you need all right now what i will do is i will going to create the corporate sales column so that along with total sales i will have corporate sales and to do that what i will do is going to create a measure click on the new measure and we will say corporate underscore sales and the function we will going to write is the calculate and you can see that within calculate it is asking for expression and the filter so our expression will be sum of sales that is our expression we want the sum of sales and filter is the segment the segment field is equals to corporate and close this so as you can see it is slightly complex for beginners but it's pretty straightforward within calculate first specify the measure that you need since it expects an expression that's why we have to use the sum of sales or minimum or maximum you know some function so that it becomes an expression and then after comma you have the field name which is segment and there you within double quotes after the equal sign you specify double quotes specify the value and ending double quotes and end the bracket for calculate and once you click apply by clicking on this right button your corporate sales is coming over here now to add it over here i will just click here and here is my table list and i will going to go down and put it over here now it's pretty easy for me to see that for total sales is this then how much is the corporate sales if i want to keep this column beside to total sales i will have to just move this up little bit here and now along with total sales i have corporate sales and similarly as a homework what you can do is you can create one column for consumer sales and one column for home office sales right so that you will have along with corporate sales you have consumer sales you have home office now we will just do a quick check whether these values are coming properly or not so what i'll do is i will click on the corporate 
So what it will do, it will change the total sales to only corporate. And since this is our calculated column only for the uh, corporate sales, you can see the values are same. So that means whatever calculation we have done is same. And even if you see it down there, the total is same. So that's how very easily you can use this calculate function where you can specify the expression and the condition that you need and get the output that is expected, right? So uh, like I said, you can, you can specify the other two parameters, which is uh, consumer and home office as an example or as a homework that, sh that you can do and create these two columns within these two tables and get the output so that by the end of uh, this exercise, you will have the complete idea how to specify the right parameters within the calculate function. So that's mainly about it, what I wanted to discuss in this video with you and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.